Hello, gentle viewer. This is Rob from Fat Ironworks. I've been asked by one of my fans to build something from Game of Thrones. So I went through all the Game of Thrones stuff I could find. What I came up with was Jamie Lannister's uh, shoulder piece, the King's Lair. Um, so anyway, I want to do that grotesque lion pauldron um, and demonstrate that from start to finish. So tell me what you think. So in anticipation of that, I sat down with my computer, pulled up some images, and with a piece of clay, I came up with a 3D landscape, if you will, of that shape. So this gives me a visual reference to work with as I get into working the piece, which is going to be made from brass. Uh, so I'm going to start out with a brass sheet, but this is my starting point, a chunk of clay, and about two and a half hours of sculpting to um, achieve this shape. So I'm going to be making it out of brass. I got a piece of uh, 14 or 18 gauge brass sheet here, and I've got a circle which is approximately the right size, a little bit bigger than what the finished shape is there. So I'm going to use that as my cutout. Simple. Now I go to my Beverly shear and shear that out. All right, so here is our piece of brass that we're starting with. I now have to dome this um, to get quite a bit of depth. You can see there's a, a fair amount of depth into it. If I was to just dish that, I'm not going to achieve that level of depth. So what I have to do is raise it, which I'm going to do in the forge, which is the process of working from the outside. Anyway, I'm going to start out with just putting a little dome in the center, and then we'll move over to the forge. Okay, so I am ready to raise my piece of brass now, which I'm going to be doing over the ball here, heating it up in the anvil. Uh, brass can be heated in the forge, uh, and you have to be very careful that you don't overheat it, because if you go too far, it will just melt and crack, just, and basically you can destroy it in a matter of a second. So you have to be very vigilant when you're heating it up in the forge, uh, but I've found that if you're Pay attention, you can be quite successful with this method. of raising, unlike dishing, which stretches the metal, raising actually compresses the metal around the edge so it retains its thickness or actually gets a little bit thicker at the edge. Um, so it is something when you need to get a lot of depth, you have to use the process of raising as opposed to dishing. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense right at the beginning here. So when I'm hitting, my brass is coming off of the ball and I'm hitting beyond that point. I'm not hitting steel on steel and, and pinching that and thinning it out. I'm hitting just beyond and just nudging it forward. It's a pretty subtle process.
Okay, so there we have it, stage one. Um, I've raised the piece now. You can see it's got quite a bit of depth. It's still quite hot, actually. Um, so if we look, I don't know if you can see this in profile here, um, I've got about enough depth to achieve the shape that I'm looking for. So this is the starting point. Join us in our next video when I get down and dirty and actually take this bulge and make it into this goofy looking lion face here. So um, that's going to be interesting. I will see you next time. In the meantime, please subscribe, um, leave comments below, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this again. See ya.